similar records, similar weights. Prochaska, much taller, six foot four. But King Mo, what's not on that card, not in the stats, is his wrestling dominance. Grand Prix Championship. We've gone over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands. All times. Watch the back of your head. No elbow strikes. Good luck to both of you. Step back. The biggest difference from what we're accustomed to the knees to the head of a down opponent. Get it Mo has to respect the striking of Prochatska. Prochatska has to respect the wrestling of King Mo. So what's the hardest part physically about coming back into the ring after about three, four hours away? Your body gets cold, it gets sore, warming up is way more difficult. This time normally a fight this, you'd be in bed, you'd be resting. You put your body back together, they gotta go in the back in the ring and fight. Mo trying to finish what he could not at Bellator Dynamite back in September. Unanswered questions as Phil Davis went on to win that tournament. And the great triumvirate at 205 in Bellator with the champion, the world champion, Liam McGeary, Phil Davis, and King Mo waiting on the outside. Trying to end 2015 with a title of his own. This is already longer than I thought King Mo would go without a takedown in this fight. Thought he'd go for it immediately. Chaska's starting to get more and more confident with his striking. Remember, this is a heavyweight Grand Prix. King Mo is a lighter 205, the way he walks around. He's also facing an opponent with a really good flying knee. Could be why King Mo is hesitating to drop his head and go for the double leg. King Mo will have his choice. He'll have his options as far as weight classes in Bellator. He can fight heavyweight. He can fight middleweight. Not a good sign that he's reaching for that leg kick. Why? Because he'll change it up and go to the head. As soon as he sees you start reaching for a low kick, he'll fake low and go high. Low's well, first takedown attempt. Jaska escapes it with a smile. Jaska's movement is kind of throwing King Mo off. He's so frenetic, it's kind of herky-jerky. It's hard to time him. That slipping and moving King Mo normally does defensively. It's hard to do against a guy who's constantly moving. The reach, see the reach advantage. King Mo's been able to get the shots off that he's wanted to get in the first two fights of the tournament. This is what Mo wanted. Yeah. Watch, the, watch the legs, remember that. I want a very squeeze on. This would be the cherry on the Sunday of a big 2015 for American top team. Last fight, Prochaska showed some submission skills. Three of his 15 professional wins have been by submission. Mo, not surprisingly, has never won one that way. 12 knockouts in his 18 wins. Mo does have some great ground and pounds. He does. He's already cut him over the left eye. Chaska took damage in the semis. Mo has taken very little. Turning to Japan, King Mo, where he began his professional career. Knocked out Travis View in his debut. That tells you anything. He's one of the most experienced guys in all of mixed martial arts. Second knocked him out in his debut. His second and third fights right after that were in this building. See many champions crowned. Very good. King Mo and Yuri Prochaska trying to add their names to that very regal list. So King Mo making no attempt to pass guard, just working his ground and pound. Prochaska letting the back of his head sit on the mat. That's never a good idea. The head doesn't have anywhere to go. Guy lands those right hands. Fatigue. 
He went to war in his last fight against Nemkov. We know he doesn't have everything back for this fight. This is a guy who has a ton of offensive options on his feet from his back. Not the same story. Now back where he wants to be. Almost ate that kick, but a quick backpedal escape from King Mo. Just is so big. King Mo trying to find the range. He has to jump forward into these shots a little bit now. He's not really lowering. His There's oh. a huge right, and it's over. Prochaska lurched forward and paid a monstrous price. And Mo Luol, who began his career in Japan, returns as king. King Mo had been doing it this entire tournament, leading with big shots, not throwing combinations, just one big punch. And that one caught Prochaska right on the chin as he was coming in. A great job by King Mo. It's an emotional win for him, as it should be. Prochaska, aggressive as always, but lumbering forward, not protecting his chin. Bang! Right hand, right on the jaw. He goes face down. Power, athleticism, and intelligence. That's what's carried him through this tournament. Two smart fights. And the third one didn't have to be that smart when you have a right hand like that. Beautiful job by King Mo. No second place. King Mo is tournament champion. Fedor returns next.